my name is Caitlin and this is Isis Fault for the Week video. Today we're going to be asking ourselves the question, what guides you? There's many different scenarios where we use the word guide. You could get a guide when you're a tourist visiting somewhere, for example, like London. You could also get a guide to show you around a museum, for example, the Natural History Museum. Hikers often get maps to guide them when they go on long hikes to ensure that they don't get lost. Essentially, a guide is something that leads you. We often have many different people guiding us in different parts of our lives too. For example, parents, teachers, guardians, coaches, these can all be guides in our lives. But in some areas of our lives, we get the choice to let people be our guides. For example, allowing friends to guide you or allowing people who you see as influencers or famous people to guide you. So let's just pause for a moment and have a think about the question, who do you choose to guide you? Buddhism teaches that karma is a guide. Karma is the idea that all of our intentional actions have consequences. Karma guides Buddhists to make the right decisions and good choices in order to have positive consequences rather than negative ones. On the other hand, Christians believe that God guides them in their lives. Most Christians believe that God gives them free will to make their own choices, but that he guides those still in what they do. They can come to him and ask him to guide them in their decision making. But also most Christians believe that once someone decides to spend their entire life with God, that he comes alongside them and guides them in all that they do. They believe that he becomes their guide throughout their life. Peers can also be guides. We're often influenced by our peers in what they say and what they do. Sometimes we follow our friends and our peers' decisions. And peers can actually help us to make wise decisions and positive decisions in our lives. However, peer pressure can guide us to make wrong decisions. So it's important that we wisely choose who we allow to influence us and be our guides in our lives. So I'm going to leave you with the question, what guides you? That's it for this week's Thought for the Week. See you later.